Hi everyone, this is Olsan and welcome back to another UIP tutorial with me. Today we will be talking about assets and credentials and I will be showing you how to use assets and credentials in UiPad. So let's get started with creating sample sequences and then implement assets and credential activities. For starter let's just assume that we want to open a browser so let me type open browser and as you know inside open browser we have to give URL that we want to open so for example if we want to go this side we just need to type it here let me select the browser type and also let's just add maximize window let's just try to run it it will just open the google.com in a browser so what if if you want to use assets for that for this you need to go to the UiPath cloud site uh, you need to select your own uh, tenant and then you need to navigate to the assets menu so here you can create your assets for example let me just create a new asset and uh, let me call it site URL uh, let me just give an, a value for that here so it will be like this one and then let's just click create as you see here I have created site URL asset in my orchestrator let me copy it and get back to here so here I need to use get asset activity let me search for it get assets and here I need to specify the asset name which is site URL and the value we need to assign it to the value so let me create a new variable called websites URL then let me just replace it with this one and call it website URL so let's test it together to see if it is working or not so it started working and as you see it again opened google.com so to make sure that let's try to change the URL of that assets so let me navigate back to here and let me click edit and let's just say ipods.com and update it and then let me just close this one let's just rerun this workflow Okay, now it just opened at uipad.com. So we have just read it from the assets inside the orchestrator, which is here. So this is the assets. What if you have some kind of credentials and you don't want to expose them to the third persons? So in that case, maybe you can use credentials in uipad. So for this, when you try to create assets, you can come here and create new assets but this time you can specify the type of that assets as credential so this time let's say login info and you can create username and like password here so you can just click create and it will create an credential here and as you see it does not show you the value of that credential which is perfect so I have this test site which is like sample login web page so for this we can use this website to be able to retrieve that credential from orchestrator so let me get back to studio so instead of this one let me create another workflow here and call it credential click create so inside that credentials let's try to type the values from the credential into that web page so for this we will need to have type into activities so for this one let me indicate on screen email address maybe I can put them side by side like this 
which is better I think so here we are going to put some text which will be coming from the credential so for this let's say we have username so let me just type credential and get credential so let's just get back to here inside the assets let me just edit this one and for the username I will change it to the test user and for the password let me type it and update it okay so we are going to read the login info credential and then in properties I need to assign the username as a username and as a password I need to create the password variable which will be the secure string let's check that as you see it's a secure string so email address I will use this username and for the password I need to use type into for secure text which is this one let me indicate it in the screen here okay and uh, let me put the value inside of that um, place which is this one and as a last step I think we need to also have click so that it will log into the system so let me just indicate on screen and click login so basically this workflow will read the credentials from the orchestrator which is this one login info and it will type the username and password in that login page and click login button so let's see if it is working or not yeah as you see it says your credentials are okay let me click this button and yeah as you see we have just successfully create assets and credential in orchestrator so you know you have to be connected to orchestrator to be able to retrieve that credentials and assets from that orchestrator site so this is the crucial part for this and then you need to just open your orchestrator under the assets you need to define your assets and credentials I think that will be all for today I hope it will be helpful for you and see you in next video bye for now